All right, moving on, Facebook is a popular place for people to connect and sometimes fall in love. But for one Nampa woman who wants to remain anonymous, online love turned to heartbreak and then something much worse. KBY 2's Alexis Gorey explains it was all an elaborate scam to get her money. Uh, my kids all told me, Mom, he's scamming you. But I was, I, I just couldn't believe that. 72 years old and a widow. She was befriended on Facebook where instant messages turned into texts and phone calls. We shared so much. We shared the same likes and the same dislikes and we shared God and we just, it was the perfect, the perfect lie. They wanted to build a church and start a food bank. I was very emotionally involved with him. I really believed him. Then he started asking for money. He told her he was sent to Nigeria to work for an oil company and he had lost his wallet. She sent money grams and hoped for a visit that never came. Family members and friends warned her she was being taken advantage of. Well, nobody could convince me it was a scam. I learned the hard way. For a year, he continued sending pictures of him and his daughter, and she kept sending money. In the end, she lost thousands of dollars and received only broken promises in return. That it's very wrong. It's very heartbreaking. You know, it hurt me more, I think, than the money that I did send him. It hurt me more that he lied about his age, and he was only 20. I mean, my goodness, I've got grandkids that old. She admitted she was blind to the truth. This is why he would have me call him, because when I'd hear his voice, uh, he could lie to me more and try to convince me more. And it was all a scam. I mean, it was all a lie. Just awful. Well, for more tips on how to better protect yourself from a catfish scam like that, head to IdahoNews.com and click on this story.